Hey, how's it going everybody? So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a um, little project that I've been wanting to do. Now, one of the things that I actually bought is uh, this. So this is a, a Dell uh, 990. Now, I actually purchased uh, one of these um, sometime back. Uh, I actually deployed it as my router, so check out that video. Uh, if you haven't already, but yeah, so this one I am not going to be using it um, as a router or anything like that I wanted this one because I'm going to be mining um, Not Bitcoin, uh, but it is called Monero now. I already have a Monero um, Little Raspberry Pi. I believe it's a Raspberry Pi 3 actually running But unfortunately, it's not making too much uh, as as of right now so with this Dell 990, uh, this one actually has an i7 four core eight thread processor. And I think it was an i7-2600. So how I'm gonna be setting this up is I want this machine to turn on at a certain time. Let's just say it's gonna be, you know, I want it to turn on at nine in the morning and actually, you know, shut down at five. So I need to go ahead and set that up and while it's running, it's going to be basically mining uh, Monero. Now, how I'm going to be running this is I actually have solar panels and batteries uh, that I actually have in my garage. Not really here in this house, but um, in the other house that I have. So I'm going to go right ahead and set that up over there. Oh, and by the way, a lot of things that I'm actually doing, I actually got from um, the tutorial. I think it was Network Chuck. Uh, so I'm actually got a lot of you know a lot of the stuff that I actually learned I actually learned on that video So go right ahead and check that one out as well So nonetheless, let's go right ahead and get this started. I forgot to mention so the operating system I'm gonna be using it's gonna be Ubuntu So I already have it loaded here in this USB So let's go right ahead and load it up actually before I load anything up Let's go right ahead and set that thing up with the BIOS to automatically turn on at 9 a.m. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so we're in bio. So the first thing we need to do is actually go into power management. Actually, before we do power management, I actually want to go right ahead and set the correct time for the bio. So the main reason I want to go right ahead and set the correct time for the bios is because when it turns on at nine in the morning, this is actually going to be triggering it. So I want to go right ahead and have the correct time. There we go. So after this, let's go ahead and go to power management. And we're going to go down to auto power on. So I already have this squared away. So it's going to turn on at 9 a.m. And that is going to be every day. So that's technically what I want to want to go right ahead and do. So let's go ahead and leave that there. Re-enable it and then hit apply. And there we go. So next thing is to actually install the operating system. Okay, so now that we are actually gonna install Ubuntu, so yeah, um, we're gonna go ahead and install it. Where's default here? Uh, for this one, we're gonna do the minimal installation. Okay, so I believe that's right. So I did do a test. Um, so this hard drive actually does have already Ubuntu on it, but I'm just gonna go right ahead and just erase and install Ubuntu. All right, so here we'll do, let's see, what we're going to do. continue. Okay, so username, I'm just going to go right ahead and use, um, I'll just do X. So there it is. Um, I'll just take out X in the front and I'll just leave Optiplex 990. Uh, pick a username, that's fine. X can be X can be. And I'm going to go right ahead and set up a password nothing too secure and here I'm gonna do login automatically I'm gonna go ahead and select that hit continue and of course Ubuntu will go right ahead and install now if you're wondering why I'm actually letting the account automatically log in is because since it's gonna be shutting down at 5 in the afternoon in the morning at nine, of course, I'm gonna be working. So once it powers on, I just want it to just, hey, log in, and then, you know, it's gonna run uh, a startup script, and then it's gonna go right ahead and actually start mining. 
Alrighty, so there we go. So now that Ubuntu is actually installed on this machine, let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up a terminal. And one of the things I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a sudo base su. Type in the password. And now I am actually in so I can go ahead and just copy paste all these commands. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and leave copies of the commands I actually used. Um, I will tell you this, that some of the commands will be a little bit different depending on what name you actually gave your account. So like for mine, it's just X. So if you by any ch chance, you know, did yours for like Dell or anything like that, then you have to basically change that one character and I'll explain later. All right, so here I'm just gonna go right ahead and copy the very first command, paste it. It's gonna be basically the wget, and we're gonna go right ahead and get this from GitHub. And like I said, it's uh, just a XM uh, rig. So let's go right ahead and hit enter. All right, cool deal. So there we go. So if we do an ls, actually let me clear it. Let's do an ls, and you do see that we have a tar let's go right ahead and extract that we're going to type in tar dash x f xm rig so let's go ahead and hit enter ls and now we actually have a folder all right so now let's go right ahead and go into set folder xm All right, so this is what we need to run right here. Okay, so there we go. So now we have this folder created. So now I could just go right ahead and just run the command and it will go right ahead and start mining. But like I said, I want to go right ahead and start this up as soon as Win uh, as soon as Windows, as soon as Ubuntu actually loads up. So let's go right ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm going to go right ahead and open up the startup applications so here. And here, I'm just going to go right ahead and do add. I'm going to give it a, a name, so we'll just do Monero. And then the command. So I'll go right ahead and include the command in the description. All right, so the command that we're going to be running is actually this one right here. So it's all of this so of course we're going to specify that we want to go home so it would be of course home right here then x then of course xm rig which would be this folder right here then the next portion is of course we're going to go right ahead and run xm rig dash o uh this is just basically the the pool that we'll be running and then the u and then here is actually where you'll put your wallet address so right now I just basically just left it as wallet, but it's a big um, what is it? string of characters. Uh, you could go right ahead and grab that from your wallet it itself. And then we're just going to do dash P and then I'm just going to name this miner Optiplex. So if I go right ahead and include the actual one with my wallet, of course, um, I'm not going to show everything, but it would be the same command. There we go. Uh, you can include a comment if you'd like. I am not, so we're going to hit add, and there it is. Now, the next one that we're going to do is actually the shutdown command. So when do we want to shut this down? So we're going to do another add, and include shutdown, and the command, and the command is going to be just shutdown-p, and this is going to be 5 o'clock, so we want to do 1700. There we go. That should be. There we go. That should be it. So we're gonna go right ahead and add it, and we're gonna close. So that is it. So let's go right ahead and see if it actually works. So if we do a reboot on this computer. All right. So how I usually check to see if it's actually running is I actually. Uh, you might you might have to install it. So to install it, of course, it's just sudo apt install and hdoc so i already have it installed but i'm gonna go ahead and install or run it so let's do hdoc hit enter 
And if we see here, we actually see that it is running. There are instances instances here that are showing that it is running. So there we go. So uh, at this point, we just basically let it be. Once it hits 5 p.m. my time, then I'll go ahead and close, uh, completely shut down, and that would be it. So just in case if you're wondering why I'm setting up a schedule from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and you're like, why don't you just run it all day? Well, like I said, I mean, I'm run, I'm gonna be running it off solar panels. Now, unfortunately, solar panels really do not charge the batteries when it's uh, there's no light out. So what I'm gonna do is, of course, turn it on at nine so it has so the solar panels have enough time to go ahead and you know give that those batteries a little bit extra charge and then as soon as the sun is actually out you know of course this will be working a hundred percent then at five uh five i mean the sun is still still out but i want to go ahead and shut it down so of course once again the batteries will charge so hopefully um i'm gonna go ahead and test it out see how that goes i'm hoping everything goes well but if i need to go ahead and make some uh, minor adjustments then i'll go and that is the end of this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And I'll, you know, we'll see exactly how it goes. Uh, hopefully everything will work, um, I guess, out of the box. Uh, but, but we shall see. And like always, thank you so much for watching. And we will catch you on the next one. I completely forgot to also include this on the video. So there is actually a website that you can actually go and actually monitor the progress of your machines. So that would be MoneroOcean.stream. You're actually able, able to monitor everything that you have. So like, let's just say right there, I have a Pi, of course, my Raspberry Pi, and of course the Optiplex. So pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little uh, website just for you to actually monitor everything and make sure everything is working. So I'll go right ahead as well as include that on the description.